Hey guys, welcome uh, back to our YouTube channel. And happy new year to every single yes. person. This is episode something three, I think. Yeah, I think episode three of. But it's called struggles. That's the name of the episode. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I never thought we were gonna bring the series into 2020, <laughs> but here we are. Um, We're still looking for the truth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we promise we're gonna finish this up. In we promise, guys. It's okay, like you okay later, Dragging. Yeah. So we've got other things we've been doing that are cool that we want to show you, but the series hanging over our heads. <laughs> but yeah, guys. Anyway, let's get straight into it. <laughs> so as you can see by the title of this video, this is on. This is part three, actually on struggles of you know being in a godly relationship mm -hmm. so we're just gonna share some of our struggles that we faced and hopefully you guys can relate with these things that we faced because some of these struggles are not just struggles that are faced by so-called christian couples mm. but i think some of these struggles are struggles that are just faced by people in people in general, in general mm. whether you're christian or you're not so boom struggles <laughs> Struggle number one. Okay. Mm. Struggle number one is, and um, yeah, this is this is a big one. Mm. And please let us know if you guys go through this one as well. It's the pressure to get married. Oh yes. Yeah. So did you see how it was done? Yeah, it was interesting how everything was wrapped up, eh? Hey. So guys, by the way, when are you getting married? So when are you getting married? So when are you guys actually getting married? When are you guys getting married? So when are you guys getting married? When are you getting married? When are you guys getting married? TikTok manier. Linyala na ning. Mfundo nshata ni. Niga atesli ni. Personally, I think. Who who gives this pressure? Spell it out, How honest do you like I mean, just say it. <laughs> Honestly speaking, it is just like family for one. Fam, no, not my family. My family, <laughs> my family is like, why you wanna get married now? <laughs> For well, yeah, I guess family, yes. Yeah. But also like the church, church, the yeah. church as well, where like people are constantly just like, when you getting married? When you are getting married? I think I got the when you are getting married question, um, two months into our relationship because. Oh when, yeah, like yeah. I barely know her. Exactly. Like, like, oh, like, oh, when you getting married? I'm like, I'm like I'm still Bible. getting to know each other. Exactly. Like, I remember yeah. we never announced Uguzi Sesia Chola. It's sort of like we just started just hanging out together more frequently and holding hands, obviously. So then we let, and then people like, oh, bye, Chola. Mm. So I think people picked up Uguzi Chola two months into the relationship. And then people are like, oh, so when you're getting married? And I'm like, do you guys realize? Because when you actually asked me out, I was doing my final year at varsity. I'm like, that's not my number one priority right now. Like, I need to get a degree first before I can even go there. So there is a lot of pressure to get married. And also, I think people never take into consideration, this This is my biggest one, Uguti. Like, I'll shout in Gamans. Like, you don't just wake up and you're like, ah, yeah. Yeah. it's a good day to get married today. Yeah, hey, yeah. So, the weather's good. Yeah. The clouds. So, yeah, like, also, married. like, financially, we had to, like, save up. Also, being Umzulu, there's a lot of things that you have to, there's a whole process mm. before you actually get mm. Mm. to the white mm -hmm. wedding. And everything requires over 40k of money. So, Jay, people never took that into consideration. So, there's a lot of you guys that have given you different dates. So, some of you think I'm getting married in February. Some of you think I'm getting married in March. There's others that actually think I'm getting married sometime in Jan. So, it just depends on what mood you find me in. Because, <laughs> like, I'll tell you, I don't know. And you feel offended. You're like, how can you not know? And I'm like, oh, okay, I'll just give you. I'm like, oh, March. March. I'm getting married in March. So, I don't, <laughs> so you'll see when you get That's the invite. Mean. That is mean. <laughs> Wow. When I'm getting married, because legit though, people don't like when I tell them I don't know, they get so like angry with me. So I give them whatever dates. I'm like, oh, I feel like Meg today. Oh, we're getting married in May. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, and struggle number two is sexual attraction. <gasps> uh, like, I think it's one of the things that we barely talk about as Christians. And I think if we ignore it, it it becomes a problem um 
the mere fact that we are dating or the mere fact that you're in a relationship means that you're attracted to, to this person. I mean, I'd be very worried if Mbali was, wasn't attracted to me. <laughs> or it, I'd be very worried if you weren't sexually um, attracted to me mm. because I'm, you know, in the future we're gonna be married and everything. So and, and I imagine, imagine dating someone in J like. And you don't wanna I, have sex with them. Yeah. So I mean, it's 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 a good thing, but then at the same time, as Christians, we don't believe in sex before marriage. So what that means is that um, you're sexually attracted to this person and you can't act on on that attraction so to speak and the best analogy i can think of is fire fire is good but uncontrolled fire can be very dangerous and it can burn up the whole house whereas um controlled fire that is fire that is kept in a fireplace can warm up the whole house and actually change the atmosphere of the house so that is how we view sex so i think what we're trying to say is we would see the struggle is there guys mm. it's not like it will it's always not, be there. yeah so yeah. it's not a matter of now that i'm dating him and we're christian like i mm. look at him i'm like oh my brother <laughs> uh no yeah. and i look at him i'm like oh my man yeah. so it's just a matter of setting boundaries and making pre-decisions would see you know like before we i remember on our first dates we both said okay this is how far we have boundaries, Ganji, Ganji, Ganji. He was like, okay, these are my boundaries. So when we came together, we already had a set of boundaries and that helped us as we carried as we uh, carried on mm. as a couple. It's okay, this is how far we're willing to go. We draw the line, Ganji, and Askwenzi, Askwenzi, And the reason we do that is because we know, we would see the more, my pastor once said, we would see relationship, God designed relationships in such a way that the, the closer you get, the more, the longer you know someone, the more intimate you want to be with that person. Yeah. So we are not ignorant of that fact. So we'll see. We've been dating for, for a, a while. Very long time. Yeah. yeah. And so obviously the natural thing is to get intimate. So it's not I wouldn't say it's fighting, but it's basically knowing we would mm. see this so we won't put acknowledging, ourselves. Acknowledging acknowledging yes. um, the the fact that this is how things are. Yes. And then sort of like acting on that to sort of prevent um the natural course of things yes yeah like there's a joke <laughs> this guy once said like you can lock me up in a shower with a girl and i won't feel nothing <laughs> because i'm that saved i'm like uh, <laughs> that's that's lies because yeah. it's unnatural but yeah so now guys you're gonna share some of the struggles that me and umfundo face and uh, yeah, so struggle number one that we face is communication. So one of the things is that if I'm right, so if mm -hmm. I'm pissed off about something, yeah, <laughs> why are you yaring so energetically? Yeah, carry on. I'm agreeing with you. <laughs> You're right so, so far. Like my natural response, girls, please tell me I'm not the only one that does this. My natural response is that I want him to figure out. Like he must know why I'm mad. And I don't get why he doesn't know I'm mad. Hey, my love. Hi. Is everything okay? Are you sure everything is okay? Babe, are you sure everything's okay? Mm, right. mm. Okay. He doesn't even know what he did wrong. How can he not know what he did wrong? Manami. Me. Kanjalo. Oh my word. He's just driving. Check. Like everything is fine. Yo! This other gender sham. Does he even love me? Oh my word. I don't know if he loves me anymore. I mean, if he loved me, he wouldn't do that, right? <sighs> I'm done. I'm so done. Like, so he'll say something jokingly, mm. shame. You never say stuff. I have psychic powers now. 
But like you're the one. No, you know what they say. You know, there's this quote so say, when the one finds you, they'll know everything. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't know lies, everything. The lies Hollywood tells you. Yo. But yeah, guys. So that's one of the that's one of the struggles was communication, whereby I I struggled to articulate with with Mfunduguti. I genuinely don't like it if you do this or you say that. So I would assume that he should know. And if he didn't know, then I'd get very angry with him. And like, I won't talk. And then like, I'll s the whole drive, I'm looking out the window and I'm like, I mm, don't I've want you. I've <laughs> had a fair share of those. Yeah, where it's like, where she's just like, I don't care. I, I don't want to speak to you. If he speaks to me, I'm like, mm, uh, oh, okay. So please tell me I'm not the only one that does that. <laughs> but yeah. And even if, you're not the only one. Behavior is not acceptable. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's really not. So, like, it is unacceptable. Where, you know, we get told, especially in the Christian setting, Uguzi, your guy will just know everything about you. The right, when the right one comes. You know, I mean, that sounds nice on paper. But in all honesty, mm. if there's a problem, you guys need to sit down and speak about it. And communicate especially this is just goes out to all my girls I know sometimes we can get very te temperamental where we feel like he should know but then at the end of the day I don't know they just think differently from us <laughs> but yeah so I think the key thing is to sit down and tell your partner you know like Vundo, I don't like it when you make jokes about my height but I've never made jokes <laughs> about your height it's an example okay yeah so that's basically the thing because he genuinely won't like if you don't tell him can you see now <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah that's like a no i'm average height okay have the you seen average. my mother my mother's like <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that's my struggle what's your struggle baby okay my struggle with umbali and this is this has to be like one of the biggest ones it's, it's your impatience. Like, Umbali is super impatient with almost <laughs> anything. And it doesn't matter how important it is. It doesn't matter how urgent it is. <laughs> if it's going to take too long, Umbali I'm is done. like, Dad, I'm, I'm finished. So, yeah, hab. yeah, like, the worst one was when she needed to change her banking details so she can get paid. And then, like, Umbali is like, you know, the, the queue is too long. I'm not doing this. And I'm like, you're not gonna get paid if you don't change it. It's like so like that's the that's the degree of impatience she has. Like should, as soon as she sees a line, she's she gives up. As soon as she, she has to wait or like something requires some effort, it's like nah, I'm uh, Yeah, I'm, not I'm just like, yeah, anything so like, with effort. You know, for me that like <laughs> irritates me as well. It really <laughs> it gets it gets to be so bad. Cause you and suffer like, and as well. I, yeah, so I have to be the one who has to like, you know, step into the gap and be like, no, we're doing this, no. whether you like it or not. We we are standing in this so line. So you have to take care of my lazy self. <laughs> yeah, it's actually not impatient. It's laziness. <laughs> it's lazy. Like Bali, do this now. I'm like ah, I don't <laughs> want that. <laughs> like right now, I need to go change my card to enable online purchases. Yes, but I'm like ah. Like, no. <laughs> Too much effort, but yeah, that's my <laughs> that's my problem. I'm sure there's another example of your impatience. No. <laughs> okay, my another thing that I struggle with with my beloved time mm -hmm. you can never get time with my impunto. What you on about? Hey, my love, John. What's happening? Um, I really miss you, so can we hang out on Monday? No, actually, uh, got some videos to finish up on Monday, and they do like now. Uh, okay, that's fine. What about Tuesday? We've got prayer on Tuesday, babe. Uh, okay, that's okay. Wednesday? Uh, I'm on call at work, so I don't know if that will work out. Uh, Thursday? You know this band practice on Thursday, Jay. Surely you're available on Friday. There's you, TJ, as usual. Um, Saturday? Is you in, like, 
two weeks from now? How about that? Because everyone always wants something from you. Like, this is your life. Mfundo is at church literally from Monday to Sunday. Mfundo mm-hmm. is at work from odd hours. Mfundo can be at work from like 8 till 10 in the evening. So, yeah. And also, I live in Durban, so I don't get to see Mfundo during the week. Mm-hmm. And so, sometimes it's like, when I do see him, it's like, oh, babe, I have to go now. Because I have to go edit this. And then, oh, he'll get a call. Hi, Mfundo, I really need a video of this. Or, I really need to take pictures of that. So, I think, yeah, so time. I never get to spend as much time as I would like with Mfundo. Because I feel like I share him with everyone. Because mm-hmm. you all always want a piece <laughs> of him. Like, you're getting engaged. Oh, Mfundo, we need you. So, you're having a baby. Ah, oh, Mfundo, we need you. I'm just like, ah. Oh. Not that I shame. <laughs> Call him, call him. It's like, yeah, um, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. So your, your your biggest fear is that moving forward. So obviously, right now it's not a. It's not a. It's not a huge problem. Yeah. because We live in different cities, but so, when we when we do live together, yeah, time will, will be a. Yeah, it's a like struggle. a yeah. I sound so frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's not that. Obviously, you know you're good at what you do. And I genuinely am proud of you when people call you out and like, oh, you know, can you please, you know, when people call you to capture their, their life-changing moments, I'm proud of you because that just shows how good you are at what you do. But at the same time, it's like, I wish I could split you into two. Where <laughs> But it's something obviously that, I, that we have to work through where I realize, this is, this is who you are. This is mm. the man I'm marrying. I'm marrying the keyboard player, the cameraman, the photographer, the friend that does the video, the photo shoots. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> I love you. And the I have no choice really. And then now this is my last struggle with Umbali. <laughs> There's many more but this one. <laughs> but this one. I especially put this one just for this video. Um it's it's Bali's ability. <laughs> Uh, has, it's a superpower, really. <laughs> it's wow. her ability to make the same mistake over and over. I you know, don't. like I don't know, like I'm, I'm a very quiet person. Well, I'd like to think I'm a quiet you person. You are actually a quiet. And person. like I think, Uteni, if you make a mistake on something, you know, I, I'm just gonna look at you, and I'm like, okay, she learned, and then so I won't comment, I won't say anything, mm-hmm. and then. Umbali has this ability of doing it again and then I'm like okay surely now she, <laughs> she, she must have learned now and then she'll do it again and then and then I'm like okay now I can't keep quiet I have to address this because she keeps making the same mistake over and over love you babe I'll see you in a few minutes Nick. I love you too babe whatever you do just don't take that shortcut they might rob you there of course not my love bye You won't believe what just happened. You got robbed again? Yeah. I mean, how am I always a target? Njalo, it's just always me. It can't be that shortcut. So like for me, it's 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 it's, it's quite a it can't get frustrating because I'm like I mean it can't it can't take you five times to realize Guti. <laughs> Guti, this thing is not working. Let's Change. try something try, else. Try something new now. <laughs> yeah, so like yeah, it is it is a struggle for me because I don't like I don't like like confronting her and like saying, Hey, do this now, like we, we we can't be doing this. Like I really don't like um doing that to her. Um so that's why I genuinely just let her learn the hard way if she can <laughs> but if the hard way is gonna like hurt me hurt me then obviously I'll intervene and step in. But I generally just leave things i like that that's i think that's one of the things that i love about you is that you're not controlling 
and you're not like, hey, hey. Because <laughs> <laughs> I observe some relationships, I'm like, ooh, gaba, dang, dang, palo. Because, yeah, but I love the fact that you give me room room to be myself and not feel like I'm trapped in a box. And to make failures and learn from them. Yes. And, yeah, because, yes, I mean, yeah, because I realize, like, there's, like, Okay, there's a one year gap between us in, in terms of age. Mm. But you've there's, been there's working like yeah, there's way like a three year like four year gap. Like I've been working for four years. You've been years adulting before. way longer than I have. Yes, basically. So like I've you know, I've made the mistakes mm. and then like now watching you I'm tempted to say with A. Hey. Don't do that. Yeah, like A hey, la like. but then I mean I can advise you but at the same time it's up like to you, me. you you learn so much faster when you make those mistakes. But then again, like, I must reiterate this, is that if those mistakes are going to cost us, then that's when I, you know, step in and step say, in. yeah, but go then, for it. Yeah. Aww. So those are the struggles. So those are the struggles, guys. Yeah. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. We will wrap the series up with the last episode, which is the Q&A. Thank you so much to everyone. Who's that been has, watching. Yes, that has been watching and supporting and us, us with questions as yeah. well. Thank you so much. We'll definitely answer all those questions. We'll answer all the questions anonymously since some of the questions are rather sensitive. So, sure. See you next time.